The Twilight Zone, 1959, Season 4, Episode 9, Printer's Devil. You unlock this door with a key of imagination. Beyond is another dimension, a dimension of sound, a dimension of sight, a dimension of mind, traveling into land of both shadow and substance, things and ideas. Just cross over to Twilight Zone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, I'll send you a check first thing in the morning. Right. Need some help? No, thanks. Enjoy kicking around broken down chairs. It's good for circulation. Oh, yours? The papers. Very funny. Come on now, Doug. Things aren't that bad. Don't be such an old gloom, Cookie. I'm not now, nor have I been a gloom, Doug Cookie. Thanks. Oh, hi, Andy. I'd like to talk to you, Mr. Wonter. You're tired, Andy. Can't wait, wait till tomorrow. It's all right, Jackie. What's on your mind, Andy? Well, sir, the fact is, well, I, I that help, Andy. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Winter. I hate to tell you this, but I'm resigning. All right. That when? Right away. I mean, I know it isn't your fault, but it's eight weeks since I've been paid. I understand. Really hate to do do it, Mr. Winter. But a man's got to eat. Any pair of skins. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Jackie. The best, but Jackie, that the best boss a man could work for. Who said that, Andy? Who said it? I did. Miss Benson, I mean it. This is the way you pay the best boss a man can work for, or quitting him just when he needs you the most. I said I hate to do it. Well, then why do it? I mean, just because a little setback ain't just a little setback. You know it. So does Mr. Winter. His paper's finished, Miss Benson. It's finished the minute the Razette moved into town. How are you going to book? Syndicate like that. They can pour thousand dollars into operation, lose every penny, and can still not fill it. They got a dozen half half dozen reporters, one edition, the night edition. I ask you, how are you going to lick that? You're not right. So I say, join them. You mean you're going to work for them? Well, yes, Miss Benson. Beginning tomorrow. If you're smart, get out of here, Andy. Just get out of here, Andy. Yes, sir. Yes, Miss Winter. Good luck. Thank you, sir. I like I will stay you're the best. Goodbye. Oh boy, that's gratitude for you. Of all the times you stayed up till midnight, gratitude for thanks. Jackie, the days off you gave him. Jackie, well, can you ever get mad at anything? Randy except chairs. As well, Andy Parskins. Walked out. A lying on tape operator. Do you realise that? I know. Well, why didn't you do something? Do something? I'll do anything I could to save this place. Anything but Randy's right. It's too late. I'm through. Oh, no. Don't, oh, don't say that. Please don't say it. Why, this is your dream, Doug. Well, right now I'm, I'm awake. Benson, why don't you just go home? I've got a lot of work to do. Okay, Doug, let me just stay. You heard me? You can go on home. A very busy man. Well, what are you going to do? Right now, I'm going to see you to the front door. Will you be all right? Oh, yeah, sure. It's not the end of the world, you know. Call me if you need me, will you, young man? Might I trouble you with match? Yeah, sure. Better night, just, isn't it? Lovely spot, too. Round of pines, it's pity we have to leave all, all. What do you mean? Well, we're about to commit suicide, aren't you? There's none of your business, I agree. If a man wants to do away with himself, I say that's his decision, nobody else's. But I do think you ought to make a good job of it. It seems you look, it looks so certain, but you looks very certain to me, frankly. You might end up with nothing more than a head cold. I say, what well, do I risk it? By the way, did you find a match? No, don't have one. Well, it doesn't matter. Good night. Why are you going to jump? Why, oh, why did you want to watch? No, heavens, no. I was just thinking, I wasn't, I, if you aren't going to, perhaps you would find, wouldn't mind giving you a lift to town. Now, I don't want you to change your plans on my behalf. And say, yeah, okay. Yeah, come on. Well, thank you. Wait a minute. I've found a light. Take away your man's dream, fill him with whiskey, his bear, send him a lonely bridge. Let him stand there all by himself, looking down the black water, trying to imagine the thoughts that were in his head. You can't. I can't, but there's somebody who can. Someone is seated next to Douglas Winter right now. Car's headed back to Wall Town. It's about his real destination is the Twilight Zone. Thank you very much, that young man. I hope you're not playing a drink alone, unless, of course, you'd like to join me. I'm delighted. 
Well, any better? Not yet. Hi, Mr. Winter. Oh, hi. But Molly, give me a teeny, will you? Drink it double the same. Uh, Mr. Winter, will I see you a second? What about, well, uh, yes, there's the tab. Sorry, but Mr. Forrester, because from now on, it's got to be cash. Please allow me. Now, Molly, run and get those drinks, will you? And tell Mr. Winchester to make us strong. Will you do? Will you do that? Run, girl, run. Hmm, that's a rush, one, isn't it? For the fire, too, I wager. Well, no, you wouldn't. Pity. Oh, I think you've much to drink, Mr. Uh, Smith. Oh, my name is Douglas Winter. Oh, Douglas Winter? Yes, sir. Mix editor. Wait, why you mix? It's a long and sad story, Mr. Smith. You wouldn't be interested. Oh, but I would. I would indeed. You see your reason of a journey to Densburg. You must be a creative editor. Oh, not yet, anyhow. No, in fact, that is, I'm a newspaper man. I'm hoping to scoop a position with your paper. I'm sorry if you called. I'll save you a trip. Why? The courier's dead, Mr. Smith. Do I understand? Not much to understand. A brag syndicate over in the paper. It called Mix for the Gazette. He murdered her, I see. Oh, no. Keep it, my dear. In payment. A lovely smile. Thank you, sir. She moves fast for big one. Mr. Winter? I suppose the Gazette used a good line of type. I'm operating it. I doubt it. I just grabbed my best man today. Why? That's my specialty, long move reporting. You mean you're a porter and lion of type appropriate? Absolutely. I may dispense my false modesty. I count myself among the best in both fields. Perhaps the best. Well, about to say something? Well, then I say it. You what? You put me to work once. I think we can save the courier. How can I put you to work? I can't even paint my bar tab. Very simple. I wave sorry to you in the black. That's crazy. Ever been in the black? Well, it's a chance. It's better than anything you have now. Sure, you know how to operate line of type printing, Mr. Winter. That's that's like asking Pagini to play the fiddle. A Verosoto. Show me with pleasure. Good night, Molly. Good night, Mr. Pinter. Doug, Jackie. Doug, where have you been? we are calling you home every evening. Oh, Jackie, I'd like to meet Mr. Smith. This is Mr. Benson, my most valuable employee. Second most valuable, Mr. Winter. Second most valuable. Very good, Mr. Smith. Now let's see how long it takes you to copy this lead story. Right over there. Certainly. Who is he, anyway? Don't know. Well, he's not the latest model. He's got to go. Boom. Oh, listen. Um, keep holding a cigar for me. Keep burning. Well, he didn't pay. Trouble in sure. Pay be disappointing. Well, I put my cigar back. Yes, put it in my mouth, please. I may have to make some mod- few modifications. The hole is in, in good fine condition. It was death, perhaps. Was man matter? Why did you quit? Finished. Impossible, you see yourself, Mr. Smith. Would, why would a man with talent want to work for a pe- paper? A coroner. Could I challenge him? Challenge. Well, Miss Vincent, are you impressed? No, I'm amazed. It's understandable. Well, I just must confess it's not my true vocation. Is it? No, I'm Porter. Oh. From Piglet Green Farm, I have a green nose. Whatever there's news, the old bone smells it. Afraid there isn't much news to smell by Dunsburg, Mr. Smith. It will be. Well, I, I am hired. You would be? If I had a paper. But I don't, haven't got one. There's no use kidding yourself. 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 This all belongs to banks and finance companies. A ready collector. Uh, how would you like to pay, to pay off roughly 4,000? How much would it take to pay off uh, roughly 4,865? Fifty-one and twenty-three cents. Oh, I thought we'd be able to manage that. You might want to make. You, you want us to take a loan, perhaps? Excuse me a minute, please. What do you think? Well, you made the offer ten minutes ago. I made. I have to think he might be. He's kidding or crazy. I know. I don't know. I mean, what's in it for him beats me. I'm going to give it to go. Yeah, but it's something. It's a chance to stay in business after all. What's well, got to lose? That's right. Well, you got to lose. Give you, you've got a feeling, feeling, doesn't it? Paid in full, paid in full. Who put that old rooster, who thought that old rooster could carry five feathered cash around in his pocket with speak of the devil? Please, in, uh, excuse our abstraction, would you, how long would it take you to get an addition on the streets? They're not due until four o'clock, I hope. I mean, it's extra, extra addition. A couple hours on a short one, be a hassle though. 
would be worth the hassle if you could beat the Grisette and Scoop. Bit of revenge and Scoop here. Holy well, only half an hour ago. Check it out. You checked my ferocity. Hmm? Standard operators, procedure, Mr. Smith. You ought to have known that. Ah, I'll be speak to Mr. Underwood, please. Well, never mind. Maybe you can help me. I just had a report of robbery, thank you. Okay, let's go to work. Yes, sir. I told you I had to know the news. Hey, extra big bank robbery today. Extra, read all about it. Read about the bitch sick up. Robbers take 15,000. Read all about it. Extra, extra. Robbers take 15,000. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Get your extra. Read about today's bank robbery. Read about it. Read about it. Thanks, sir. Please, sir. There you are. Read about all the about it all. all. Read all there, there, oh, there you are. Read all about Dane's bank robbery. There you are, sir. Follow me. I don't believe it. Checked it. Don't think she trusts me. Of course, it doesn't matter. Isn't much, but it sells paper. How did you find out? Mm, how did you find this out? I told you I know the news. You like it, don't you, Mister Smith? Don't think of anything that I like better. Harold Swanson, thirty years of principal Glensburg High School, confessed to police today. He's married to two women in Bagnerius. I talked to Mr. Swanson. And it's true, he was two wives. High prince, school principal, both a big miss. Hey, they put us out. Read all about it. Fritz is a kidding or not kidding? Do you realize in two weeks our circulation has tripled? Bit of well, well, Mr. Franklin. How's your things in Rosette? Does that mean why I'm here, Mr. Benson? Into Miss Benson. I'm a man to beat about a bush, but you're giving us trouble. Now this quick success. That you had can't last. You've had a few lucky breaks, that's all. No, 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 but I admit we're hurting. But now how does it feel, Mr. Whitman? I have proved for you to make an offer. If you're shot your man, I agree. And I say you are, you take it. An offer for what? Carry on. I buy it. You start to go work for us. Now, how does that sound? Sorry. Curry is it for sale? No, not at any price. Not at any price. Now, you say you don't think you can fight us, do you? No, we can try, Mr. Franklin. Well, then you're not quite as smart as a young man as I thought you were. But I leave it off uh, open till seven o'clock tonight. If you didn't hear from you that at that time, by laying yourself a good supply of tin cups. Thank you. How much do you think he'll give you? Well, there's a worry as frankly looks. Imagine about a hundred thousand. Why? Just wondering. Honey, what's the matter? Things have never gone better, have they? Not so sure, have we? Here we are, huh? Hi, oh, hi, Miss Smith. I have a little surprise for you. I don't think I can take another one. I'll take this, all right? Happens to be the biggest scoop of all. You read it, and you'll get things going. I'm afraid to look. To look, I don't blame you for being upset. But that gives you no reason to toss her allegations around. Allegations facts. How uh, now you started the fire. You're going to pay for, for it. I told you a thousand times I didn't start the fire. How many times do I have to tell you? Don't care how many times you tell me. Your paper was out of the street. Is that one hour or not? An hour after it happened. And to me, that means only one thing. You knew it was going to happen. I might explain to you one more time. A new man was walking by the your building. He saw the smoke, came in the air, then back here. In one and a half hour, he wrote the complete story, ran off the five on copies, delivered the equipment of yours, delivered it to the corner news boy. Now you expect me to believe that? But now you expect, what kind of stupid idiot do you think I am? Well, let's not get into that, shall we? It says so happens that I witnessed this as many... Way around about the whole day. Now we get out of here. We've got a lot of work to do. You haven't heard the last of this. Doug? Yeah. How did we hit on the street so fast? I don't know. How did you leave him? Well, no. Mr. Smith, you believe he happened to be passing by? Well, boss, what can I do for you? That's a question. Aren't you? Did you start a gazette fire? I, you, I'm afraid. I don't understand the question. I don't see why not. Very simple. Did you start a gazette fire? Thought it'd be a faulty for an electrical system. Sure, never write out anything, I'm not sure. Question of ethics. By the way, the Prankskin's called. He's lying a type of writing. I told you about. I think he hired him back. Put you on a full time vaulting. No, 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 that won't do. No, I make certain. I'm not afraid to this machine. I don't wouldn't want anyone else to touch it. We'll spoil everything. Besides, it breaks up the day for me. You can hire him back, by all means. But give him another job, I insist, okay. 
Hey, come on now. You still haven't told me. Exactly who you, how did you meet Mr. Smith or my brother? You don't give it up very easy, do you? Well, I know want to know if I told you. Just run into him in that light, that's all. Where? Pine trail. What were you doing there? Shooting butterflies. What else would I be doing there? Why didn't you have to get so sarcastic about it? So only asking. Oh, I told you. I just met him and I hired him. He just back in, he put us back in business. What's wrong with that? It's my trouble, trouble. We picked out staying out every day. Been dreaming with a, what about that kind of trouble in life? Yeah, hey, what's the matter with you? Another, no, that's nothing, man. Yes, there is. You're different. You change. You're different. You change. Can you sound like a wife? Well, I'm not your wife. I'd never be at this rate. Well, you're, that's okay to me too, Mr. Smith. Well, that's on the machine. I would surprise you a bit later, Mr. DJ. McLeod wins £150,000 sleep ticket. McLeod for 16 gold. Here's Clout. James Walter and Power Comp. This is McLeod. This is Doug Winter down the Korea. So he said, I was just wondering, have you heard anything on your sleep sleep ticket? See? Oh, no, sir. I haven't heard a thing. Sorry, Bobby. Right. Good night. Oh, I hate to tell you, but I'm afraid this time you called a boner. McLeod didn't know anything about it. Did say he knew anything about it. I said he would. He won it. What are you talking about? How can you win twenty five thousand and did not know about it? We're not bothering to look under the door for a telegram. Queer winter speaking. Proposition, you see. Now, boss, would you have a chair, please? I think that time has come when you said I should have a little chat. I think the occasion calls for touch the creature. May so so. Sorry, I think it was fresh out. I might think you may find you mistaken. Right there, top drawer, hmm? My compliments. Think of everything, don't you? Now, first of all, I should like to ask whether or not you're happy with the way things have been going. Just what are you leading up to, Mr. Smith? Simple provision. Here by guarantee, you understand guarantee. You'll become the most successful wallpaper editor in the world if you fix your signature to this little document. I, as a window, greed and quick my immortal soul, a bear upon my death. Strange these services. I what? Huh? You're the devil. Ah, oh, Mr. Winter. So forget your children you what you know what the devil that the devil does not exist. True, true. They also know the world is full of eccentric, crazy old men. Crazy men doing all kinds of things for crazy reasons. Now why don't you think of me like that? Here's a pen. This is ridiculous. This is isn't it? Could I trouble you with another drink? Well, you really don't believe that I I'm the devil, do you? No, well then. Why do you put it this way? You're humouring me. After all, what's good is the soul anyway. I sort of like an appendix these days. Particularly since it's been didn't do this in the first place. Well, just for the sake of argument, why do you particularly want mine? Well, for the sake of argument, let's say, thank you, because, sir, I have a very choice soul. I've been to say, it's a good year. Well, then again, just for the sake of argument, yes. Why don't you just take it, huh? Now the devil, as you say, ah, uh, why you can you do? Why can you do? Why you can do anything? Oh, I'm happy, but not everything. But I'm my certain rules. I have my limitations. Then that's yes. I drink to that, huh? How are you? I think I should warn you, however, if I do not sign this, then certain gloomy predictions that you made about the covert's future will certainly come to pass. And if I have to resign, well. Let's not even consider your pro such proposition. At all, you don't want to go visiting the bridge again, do you? Hardly know. Yeah, we're not human old man. It means such a lot to me. And if you don't sign it, you'll be admitting fear and belief. I'm not afraid of you, no. Fancy that. Grown man, man, believes in the devil. Give me that stupid thing there. Now let's not hear about more about this. Shall we? Good morning, Mrs. Benson. Good morning, Mrs. Smith. Doug, Doug, wake up. Now what's that make up, huh? Were you asleep here last night? I haven't. Here's some coffee. Oh, well, I worked late last night. Guess I fell asleep. Thanks. Thanks. You've seen this? Oh, what? Oh, Doug, what's going on? What's the matter? Why these people were on the newsstand? Less than an hour. What it happened? Who ran off? Who lived with them? I asked Mr. Smith. Was going to leave me alone? We lonely dress you're wearing, Mr. Benson. What do you want? A bit of fire, huh? Oh, yes. Hmm, thank you. Keep them. Thank you. You and I are going to be great friends, my dear. Etch, etch, honeymoon is drowned in the lake Bundy. Read all that. Thank you, sir. Etch, etch, a banker murdered his wife. 
Read all about it. Extra. Get your late papers here. Doug and Sid, these things can't be just happening. Got to fire him. You can't, why not? You paid the back alone? You don't owe him a thing. I know, I know. Can't, I can't, that's all. Now believe me, I can't. Why, well, just kick him out. On what grounds? I don't know, incompetence. Well, come on now. You know, very competent liner type, man, will report, operate in a freight reporter. You want him around? There's a question wanting around. That, what is it? He's running your newspaper now. Not you, him. Going a little pretty good job of it, too, isn't he? He's selling a lot of out every edition. He's selling out more than that, a lot more. Goodbye, Doug. Jackie, ain't you being a little hasty? Do you mind your own business? Mr. Smith's my business. My priority interests, everything connected with the courier. Well, I'm no longer connected with the courier, Mr. Smith. Miss Benson, I wish you would consider. The fact is, I developed a very special fondness for you. Will you please get away out of my way? I'm sorry that you did. Where's Jackie? Slav's lady's lost, my friend. She's gone, vanished. Don't worry about, about it. Look, don't worry, we can do without her. First thing we can do without is you. That's an ungrateful to say to friend. Friend who pulled you out of bankruptcy, turned for the corridor in the hottest journal in the state. Well, let, let me tell you something, Mr. Earl Smith. Just, it's not, just, it's not worth it. Nightmare about a weird little man, coat with scar, cool, terrible things has happened, so he could get scoops of my paper. Well, I wake now. I want you out of here. I was advanced about our contract. What about our contract? You said you'd do anything to make the paper a success. I heard you. That's why I came here. Came. I carried out my part. Success. Not a nightmare. But something even worse. Because somehow you made things happen. You have a cause tragedy. You destroyed life or something. I didn't bargain for this. I wish you did. But you put it out of your mind. You thought you'd get everything for nothing. That's not the way life works. I oh, don't worry about it. You've got the first edition. There's a way of help. I well, don't want your help. I want you out of my life. Can't do that now. If I go beach between us, that's, that's, there's no way out. Hold it. There's one way, of course. What's that? You can pay out right now. But that means you can take my immortal soul. I'm alive and walking around. Is that it? Something like that. Now, wait, wait. This old smell smells a story coming in. We start with everything. Oh, shame, Miss Paul, Mrs. Benson. What about Miss Benson? At 11 30 tonight, Miss Jacqueline Benson. Home Secretary Douglas Winter, editor of the corridor, suffered grave injuries. Suffered grave injuries resulting from a head on collision between car and that of the James Edward Scorum, turning on a skiing trip. Accident took place on Bradford Coon Road. God, God won't stop it. You still think I'm a nightmare? And I'm a nightmare, do you? You changed it. You can't change it. The location may alter this type of machine may quite a bit. But if I write gun was to pass. Why Jackie? Why did you ever what did she ever do to you? She slapped me. And you destroyed her for that? Of course not. The intelligent man was keep but you keep missing the point. That you see has spent too much time with you already have other clients waiting. Wanna move on. Figure this story about your good girlfriend will hurry things up. The point is out the item. Did not say that she died or injuries did not. Not yet. I may add a few lines every way. But if he lives or she dies, when are you? Now, if you try to conclude a contract, you'll find this a lot sooner than sure than the bridge. Worker too. It leaves you free. Where are you going? You've got to be some way to stop you. I'm going to find it. I suspect it never give up. I remember you only have a, one hour and fifty minutes. Jackie, Jackie. Hush, you want to wake up the whole building? Where's Miss Vincent? She ain't in. Well, she did she go. Well, that's under my concern. When she did, when she did leave, well, well, what's the matter? When she leave, oh, about 10, 15 minutes ago. I think, oh, about that, what, 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 the what's, Mr. Smith? I want to talk to you. Oh, first I want to apologise for slapping. Trust is nothing at all. Second, I want to ask something of you. Maybe, might want, might be, what that might be, want to go away. Now, I want to know what you've done a great deal for the paper. We appreciate that, but I love you, Doug. I want to marry you. I know, by the way you've been acting ever since you came, I don't even recognise him anymore. He's a different person. You think that's due to my influence? Yes, I do. I'm going to get you out of this town anyway. 
this paper I even done so he helped me so help me hold it hold it don't become hysterical but I mean it I really do not need another word because I'm leaving at my own free will you are of course I never stay I'm not wanted I have others other voices you know in fact I'm quitting for this very moment you are certainly and my Chris is that you drive me you have no car you know to drive me to the certain point but certainly I'd love to very well I'm ready well, well what about Doug I think you take care of yourself huh would you like me to drive all right we'll go by Brassica Road it's I Mr Window you see Jackie oh Mrs Benson no she's been here since lunchtime what's the matter Mr Benson Winter? You look terrible. Could I say you get you something? Too fast. Is this, this is why this is too fast. First, look out, Mr. Bell Smith. Mr. Smith. Doug, oh, Doug. Jackie, oh, Jackie. Doug. And Smith tried to kill me. He tried to kill me, no. We're in the car. It's car. He got you. Go, kept going. Go faster. So the car kept coming at us. He headed straight for, uh, for that car. But it's all right now. It's all over. He's sitting right there next to me. Then he's gone. What's going on? What happened? Tell me, listen to this, Mr. Smith, former star composer and chief line of operator, coroner resigned his position, left Edinburgh for his final at 11.25 at night this evening. In contact, Mr. Douglas Winter declared null and void. I enter Mr. Winter's incomplete understanding of the terms of document. Contract? What contract? Means that he's gone, gone. Won't be back. Did he say so? No, he never goes any place he's not invited what do you mean uninvited do you invite him here in the first place well in a way i did in a way i did i'm going to spend the rest of my life making it up to you first thing they do is get rid of the thing why when we're going to take when we're going to take on the gazette doug you will, t- will you please explain this i know that i will i will I don't know if I, that I, what i will 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 i'll show you maybe tomorrow right now let's get out of here exit the eternal machine which has tenant majesty, Luther, Prince of Darkness, other known as Mrs. Smith. He's gone, but not for good. That won't be like him. He's gone, he's gone for bad. He might be back with another ticket to the toilet zone. 